The WWE loves to invoke a strong reaction from its crowd, and on several occasions has managed to absolutely terrify them. Fear is a very subjective thing, but most people can agree that these stunts were truly horrifying. This could involve anything from an entrance to an injury, but more often than not, these moments really put fans on edge. Here are the five most horrifying moments in the WWE. Number five, the Firefly Funhouse break into Miz's home. Ahead of their match at TLC 2019, Bray Wyatt tried to get inside the head of Miz by playing mind games in his own sick and demented way. While Renee Young sat down with The Miz to conduct an interview with the A-lister at his home, there were signs that The Fiend was already somewhere inside. Maurice found the Firefly Funhouse doll with their child, Monroe, on the baby monitor. This was just another ploy by the sadistic Wyatt to show that there is no line he isn't willing to cross to get into his opponent's head. Number 4. Dark Wedding The Attitude Era was a weird time for sports entertainment. A good testament to that is The Undertaker's Dark Wedding, an overly dramatized satanic wedding that would join The Undertaker and Stephanie McMahon in an unholy union. Union. At Backlash 1999, Stephanie was abducted by The Undertaker and his acolytes, and the following week, they showed up to the ring with Stephanie strapped to a modified version of The Undertaker's cross. Paul Bearer presided over the rituals, but before they could seal the deal, the Texas Rattlesnake came to the rescue of Vince's daughter and saved her from the dead man's twisted schemes. Number 3. The Fiend if you want to terrify the audience, you don't need to look further than the boogeyman of the PG era. Yup, we're looking at you, Bray Wyatt. The Fiend interrupted a match between Seth Rollins and Braun Strowman in a December 2019 edition of Raw. After taking down Abigail's black sheep with a mandible claw, he proceeded to crawl towards Seth Rollins, who was terrified and began letting out faint groans as the Fiend inched closer. But before he could get to him, Braun began to gather himself. Another mandible claw made short work of that. Number two, the dead man. The Undertaker was at his peak of his career in 2005, and that meant more crazy shenanigans from the dead man. During this time, the dead man had a feud with Orton and his father, and at no mercy of that same year, they were scheduled to battle it out in a casket match. But a few weeks prior to the match on an episode of SmackDown, The Undertaker sent a chilling message to the father and son. His acolytes carried a casket to the ring, and in it were the bodies of Orton and his dad. Yes, it was repulsive, but the Ortons managed to win their match and got even by setting the dead man's casket on fire. And finally, at number one, we have Kane. Last on the list, we have the other brother of destruction. 2003 saw the feud between Shane McMahon and Kane come to a head. The demon got his hands on Shane every chance he could, and often beat the owner's son to within an inch of his life, or so it would appear. Kane's sadistic demeanor was clear when, on an episode of Raw, he tied Shane to the ring post and tacked his legs behind the steel steps. Then, with the help of some crocodile clips, he sent jolts of electricity to the place that no man wants to feel. The younger McMahon did not have to suffer long, however, as RVD showed up with a chair to put the big red machine out of commission. Hey, that's it for this one, guys. If you enjoyed watching this countdown, be sure to hit that like button. And as always, thanks for watching.